Okay, so we, uh, we want to open up our uh, virtual box, but one of the things that we need is we need to be able to pass a USB device to it. So if we go to the settings, we go to these USB tabs, you can see we have some choices here for USB 1.1, 2.0, 3.0, uh, and then you can add with these buttons over here, you can add some Bluetooth devices or filter for them. Problem is, is that there's actually no choices right now. Um, if we go through, we look at uh, any other settings, we're not going to see how we can attach those. And the reason for that is we need to download the extension pack. Uh, so if you go to virtualbox.org and you'll see here the uh, Oracle Virtual Manager Virtual Box Extension Packs. And so you'll want to download that for your version of VirtualBox. So go ahead and download it. And then what you can do is you go to Preferences, you go to Extensions, and you can add this extension that you downloaded. And so this expansion pack would allow you to do that. So it's going to give you some, you know, information. You say OK, scroll on down, and then you can agree to install it. <clears throat> of course, here it's going to ask for like super secret squirrel password. And we'll type that in. There we go. So it's going to install. <clears throat> oh, failure. Oh, expected 5.2 got 5.1. Okay, so like I said at the beginning, it helps if you download the appropriate one for your version of VirtualBox. So I could solve this by just upgrading to the newest version of VirtualBox. I've already got it set here. So um, here I went ahead and found the older version, extension pack 5.1 for my version of VirtualBox. Um, you can just Google on the web, search around. Um, that's all I did, you know, just punched it in. And there you go. So now we're going to install that settings, extension. We'll get rid of this other one that didn't work. Yes, we want to remove. Super secret squirrel password. And now we can go ahead and hit uh, the install. Let's make sure we grab the right one here, the 5.1. <clears throat> and we'll, again, we'll scroll down, we'll agree. We're going to punch in our password. I want to show you, after we install this, uh, a couple of interesting things that you might run into. Sometimes making USB devices pass through to a virtual box is kind of tricky. So if we go to our settings now, we go to our USB, and we say, OK, let's do a 2.0. Let's do a 3 or 2. It doesn't really matter. You pick one, and uh, you know you could just enter a new filter, and you have to enter all this information manually, and that's actually quite a bit of work. So don't recommend doing it that way. Um, but you can also just click here um, and add ones that are already already on a list, or you can you know edit them or remove them. So let's remove that one. We'll just add. And you see there's no devices available. So that kind of looks like a, a problem that you might run into. And if we go to our terminal, we go to devices, we see that we have a special folder called um, VirtualBox or VBox USB. And if we look at everything with the LAH command, so we can see everything, um, we see we don't have permission to look at this folder. And that's important because obviously if you don't have permission to look at the folder, then you can't use the USB devices that are being forwarded to VirtualBox. So we jump in here as the root user, sudo su, punch in our password. <clears throat> And we can now go into that um, folder and we look around and we see everything is owned by root and a group of VBox users. So what we want to do is we want to um, add 
user mod dash a to append dash g for group and we're going to change it to be vbox users and then alaska linux user is my username so you can put your username in here so essentially you're adding yourself whatever user you are to the list of vbox users now once you do this you actually have to log out before it will take effect so i have to stop the recording okay we're back and uh, now we can go back in let's take a look at our settings we've added ourselves as a user vbox users and now you see if we choose something there's all of our devices and of course you know the one that we're looking for the life one x2 so now we've added it now here's another problem you might run into notice i'm going to try to start this up and it fails and why does it fail and it's like oh there's something wrong something has been changed you might need to upgrade your version or uh, reinstall virtual box if you see this, you don't have to reinstall VirtualBox. Um, but this is, this is an interesting problem. The issue is, if you look at you know, what we chose, when we built the box originally, we were USB 1.1. So we need to stick with the same version of USB for the box that we built. Um, if we had built it with 2.0 originally, choosing that setting before we started, then we could have used 2.0 or 3.0 or whatever the case may be. So if you get that error, just go back and make sure that you're in the same version of USB that you originally set up. And so we've got our USB added. Let this boot up here. And we've got our... Um, phone set in the pass-through mode. Now if we do ADB devices, there we go. We see that our device is actually there. So, you know, we can shell, we can jump into it, um, you know, run a few commands here. Let's see if we can uh, look at some of our options here. Let's uh, let's pull a um, let's pull a screenshot. There you go. We'll do ADB shell screen cap dash p forward slash sd card forward slash ss1 dot png. So we're gonna we're telling it, hey, I want you to run this command. Do a screen capture. Now we're gonna ADB pull forward slash sd card forward slash ss1 dot png. And it took a second there. We're gonna open up our file browser here and. Oh, well, the screen's off, so obviously it wouldn't look like much. Let me do that again with the screen on this time. So we do our screen cap again. We pull the, pull the file. Now we go look at it. And there we go. So we are now set up to use ADB through um, VirtualBox.